Hello and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. My name is Saiken. We're playing Impossible Iron Man um, on the hardcore mode. Hardest difficulty, single save and no retries. And today we're trying to get our third epic shotgun. It is essential personal all over, which is going to be another um, close quarter mission. I think we've done that. I, it feels like uh, that mission, it, it sounds very familiar. Um, I'm not sure. It's two encounters, and if I'm not mistaken, it was kind of the mission where we, where we, we uh, where we were fighting in close quarters. Um, I might be wrong. We got epic weapons on everyone. Still the same kind of uh, team between uh, Cheer Up and Shelter to see just how well they are doing. Um, I was very very confident that Cheer Up um, was uh, the best early game pick, but now that I've seen Shelter. Uh, it's leaning more and more towards shelter, and I've just noticed uh, the great abilities that Torque is getting, and that then again uh, made me wonder just uh, whom to favor in the long term. Anyways, let's jump into the game and see how difficult uh, the essential personal is, really. Friendly VIP ahead. Check your fire. Time for the Breacher mode, guys. It's exactly the mission that I uh, thought it would be. So, going in first, uh, let's take um, Cheer Up, then Blue Blood. Now, you know what? Let's use Axiom because uh, th this side here was a very open side. Um, we're taking Blue Blood over here, and finally, Shelter. Um, in terms of action economy, uh, that seems more appropriate. Reaching in. Breach, breach. Look at that. A cobra, um, a trooper, a turret. A Guardian, a Bruiser, and a Hitman. The Hitman is probably the most dangerous target. Um, let's make sure we're not being flanked right away. Nice. This guy is dead because he's poisoned. Let's take a 100% shot. And burn down the turret. The turret is dead as well because the acid will kill it. I like the idea to go for the hitman. It's probably not going to work out, so let's take down the guardian next. 100% shot should seal the deal. There we go. That's three targets killed with our entrance. We are going to kinetic shield ourselves. And where would I find the hitman? Okay, so that's 50 50. Um, that, however, could actually kill him. Let's see. Yep. There we go. Couldn't kill everyone, but the android certainly uh, will just hit the kinetic shield. Still a very strong ability, by the way. Gathering the charges, and with plus, f and with his oh yeah, I forgot he has the uh, uh, fire back ability. <laughs> well, that is that's pretty good. The two are dead. I do not want to use any special abilities yet. Moving over here. Let's see if we can kill the Cobra. Yep, it's dead. Oh, 
Ooh, the earthquake ability. Holy shit, okay, I know what's going on. Okay, so I see what's I see what's going on. Yeah, 40% is not really a great outlook, right? But what we could do is take a shot. Oh, nice. We even managed to hit. I wasn't expecting that. Take a shot and then do this. He's not going to stay there. He is going to move. I am proven wrong. Very much so. Such a ridiculous ability. The fact that you can shoot through the wall. I'm moving. Grenade out. I need to get moving. Move. Move now. Alright. Um how about Axiom takes shield so that the grenade does not affect him at all and how about furthermore we could just move there or alternatively we're moving into here and won't take fire from the android yeah that's good enough Nice one. Good shot. Nice. Shield uh, is now at three, so that is awesome. Exactly what, what we needed. Getting him out of full cover. And let's kill the android. Moving up because I want the. I'm greedy and want the evidence. Yeah, we don't even need extra uh, cooldowns here. Could have knocked him, uh, just knocked him out, uh, so that we at least start capture, um, have a chance to get um, twenty extra into. Good. That's the breach mode. We're not using any explosives, so chair up first. Um, we're going for shelter second, axiom third, and bluebird last. Um, no, you know what? We have a little bit too much healing on them from a breach perspective. Oh, an Andromedon. Hello there. You know what? Let's use Phalanx because I don't want to deal with the Commando. The Cobra is an actual target. The Chrysalid is an actual target. That Chrysalid is an actual target. I don't even know what the civilian is doing in here with all of the chrysalids.
All right. We are setting up something special here. Because Blue Blood was uh, going in relatively early. I just shot everything a tiny bit. Because I want the perfect face off here. There's our VIP. Bring that hostage home. All right, so we got a commando over here and we got a turret over here. Well, that both doesn't really matter too much. Uh, cheer up, definitely supercharges everyone. Fire at will. Um. And then team up goes to shelter. In terms of prepping. Oh, his shield is down. Okay, I see, I see. Let's give another shield to Blue Blood. Just for the aim bonus. Okay, so whom are we going to reposition is the question. Super cramped in here anyways. Nah, let's get to here and motivate the commando to attack our decoy okay commando is uh, commando is readied oh we're not missing any any health well let's prime this um, andromedon here Lovely. Too bad that was our plus 15 to hit, but it's okay. We're going to be all right. I, I'm still setting up for what I want to do. Okay, cool. Good. Now, finally. Holy shit, we're doing so much damage. We're actually doing so much damage. Um, okay, quick shot. Chrysalid needs to die. So that's a given. There we go. Okay, easy enough. Then who else needs to die? I think we should go for the Andromedon. How many hit points does he have left over? Two, four, six, eight. Now we are going to to beat that easily. So, hmm, the trooper would also die. Okay, let's go for the Andromedon. And now, wait for it. There we go. So, here we go. Check this out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ba bam. Almost killed the trooper, by the way. Who now needs to reload? Okay, fair enough. Chrysalid. 
It's knocked unconscious, okay. I mean, it's nothing left over, so... After, after that face-off, there is just nothing left over. And a lot of it, believe it or not, again, was Shirop's um, ability to to simply kill every, uh, to simply buff and let him kill everything. I made the arrest. I mean, I still don't know. It's difficult to say. Probably, given. Given that some of the abilities uh, from from Shelter are psionic and mechanical units are... What? Secure the hostage? Um, okay, yeah, we can do that. And mechanical units are immune. You could make an argument uh, that... You could make an argument that it is... A good idea to to mix up your team and not um, have two psionic characters in there, and I could see that. Good to go. Moving to here. You know what? We don't even need to Overwatch. Like, what are we even talking about? Well, Shelter may be... may need to stay there for a bit. Okay, whatever. Let's overwatch. I don't know if he has enough movement speed to get out of here. Almost dry. Oh, you know what? Let's evac him. Cheer up! Gets out of here as well. Hostage gets out of here. Oh, reinforcements in two rounds? Uh, I'm not even going to bother with that. Yeah, and we would easily have made it, so never mind. Overthinking the situation. Okay. Back to the topic at hand of of uh, team constellation. So you could you could make the argument if you um, if you had uh, basically shelter and verge in the same team that it's too much kind of psionic focus. And what are you going to do against um, against robotic units? And I can see that. Uh, on the other hand, um, both of them have weapons in this game here. It's, um, it seems that everyone is dealing a lot of damage with their weapon. So, that's really not, that's really not a unique uh, um, ability to deal damage with your weapon, that is. You could also make an argument, I mean, that's, that's maybe a, a very drastic idea. Since everyone is dealing a lot of damage, you could take Shelter and Torg both into the group and just use Terminal and Verge on top of it. You would drop, uh, drop Blue Blood with it, um, and he is dealing a lot of damage, so undeniably, the, the last encounter has shown he's just a supreme damage dealer and the ability to deal damage through the wall is probably unmatched. But you would get a lot of... Um, a lot of uh, utility on top. So, yeah, not not sure yet. 
Heavy Ordnance, his training is completed. Um, does not have any further training. Fuck, did we remove her from train? Okay, Axiom has a chance to counterattack any melee attack against him, ignoring the damage of the attack and hitting the attacker. That's what I wanted to see. Okay, so... Let me see the following, maybe. We're taking... We're actually taking uh, Verge and Shelter in one team. And we're going to see how bad it is against robots. If that's really a disadvantage. Um, I still feel that Verge, compared to Torque, probably brings more uh, utility to the table. On the other hand, Torque is a very straightforward kind of self-sustained character, so it's hard to it's hard to argue that she's bad by any stretch of the imagination. And with her ability to to give extra actions uh, with her tongue, boy, boy, that just made her so uh, much more tasty. Okay, we do have Lo uh, Lonely Herald times two. Fair enough, so we already had that epic shotgun. Let us reduce the unrest here. Very good. And let us do the warehouse um, mission over here. By the way, do we have an... No, we don't have any cooldowns. Okay. And we almost are finished with all of the research. Grey Phoenix equipment is ready. I must ask for a favor. Sure. What's up? A new restaurant opened on the promenade. Steak sandwiches. Processed cheese sauce. Authentic old world cuisine. You can't eat that. You'll die. But you can. And with your consent, I can share your sense of taste. Yeah, man. I'll taste greasy food for you. As long as we split the cost. Deal. Perfect. So we got the overdrive serum. Grants a significant boost to mobility on the agent. Plus three armor. That's not bad if you think about it because it doesn't cost you any action. So, could be, for instance, something that uh, Cheer Up is uh, using, plus three armor, um, his mobility. He could even go into the open then. Hellweave doesn't do what I thought. It does not make you immune against fire, it just reflects damage back to um, attackers. Oh my god, that is good. That is actually really, really good. Let's purchase two and see which character would need it. I mean, yes, 50 dodge. Fair. Good. All good and fine. Um, and it helps you against, um, against uh, being uh, critted from 100 to 0. But if you look at his loadout, I think he can benefit more from the regeneration weave. He has no um, natural uh, regeneration. He has the shield that makes him immune against the tech, uh, one attack every turn anyways. And yes, he would have less dodge, but having him regenerate actually closes one of uh, the things that he did not bring to the table. He regenerates like a champ. 
and I mean for blue blood it's a s I'm I'm torn. The Mag Weave is definitely strong like the Dodge. The Dodge is a strong ability. Um Giving him the ability to regenerate, probably not bad as well. He did not have that ability beforehand. Yeah, on the other hand, let's keep the mag weave there. He already regenerates, so that's not a problem. He has a lot of armor, so he does not need more armor. Which means I think we can let him regenerate. Yeah, on certain characters I can see how that is going to work. I can definitely see how that's going to work. I mean, extra armor isn't bad either. And I am still assuming that one of the first mods that they are going to bring out is... Um, the the option to put more or additional armor slots in here because you do have a lot of armor options and just one slot which feels a bit stingy good and in terms of our next mission i mean what do we have here a couple of uh, missions that would give us intel Intel and um, in this case here Intel plus supplies but if we were to do that we would essentially um, completely let this here uh, go down down the slums so we're probably forced to, to do that mission minus two unrest plus two days 15 alarium and another extra day so it's three days towards uh, the mission which is not the worst um, uh, we still can uh, do side missions even though the mission is already available so not the end of the day uh, uh, not the end of the day um, to to do the stop market attack here yeah and other than that I think we're we're actually quite good on um, on the way. Um, only two more items in the modular androids, and that was it. Thanks for watching, guys. This brings us to the end of today's episode. Uh, next time, we're going to do another storyline mission. And um, if you haven't done yet, hit the like button, and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.